If Premier League football teams were movies. Arsenal, the pursuit of happiness. It's been 19 long years since being invincible and the only thing they found in their pursuit of happiness is being invisible. That's not to say happiness is not round the corner. I mean, it was right there. But then the ball dropped. There was never a sequel, so maybe they find it next year. Aston Villa, Spider-Man. Peter Parker looked weak down and out until he got bitten by a spider and was then able to swing right up the skyscraper. But now he seems to be exploring outside of New York City. He's going to Europe, Bournemouth, Creed. After getting knocked down, it looked like it was all over. But somehow they got back up before the 10 and proved they weren't a mistake. In the end, they proved they were more than worth it and went pound to pound against the big boys. Brentford, Inception. They're living a dream right now and often infiltrate the subconscious of big wealthy targets. Although one of their members seems to be stuck in limbo at the moment. The question is, will the spinning top ever fall or will it continue spinning? Brighton Toy Story. When Sid plays with his toys, there seems to be no stopping them. Even though his Woody, Buzz and Jesse have left to go to new owners, he still has a box full of new toys he can take to Europe. What a story. Burnley, Batman The Dark Knight. Batman Begins was great, but the sequel was much better. And surely next season, Burnley's sequel will be just as good as the last one. On the opening day, Batman will be up against his old buddy the Joker who still lives in Gotham City. Chelsea, John Carter. They spent a massive amount on trying to make this great but it completely flopped on the box office. Because of this, John Carter never got a sequel. I'm not gonna lie, I'd love a Chelsea FC sequel next year. <laughs> Crystal Palace, Armageddon. Most of the movie is set in the atmosphere, which is what Crystal Palace are pretty much known for. Atmosphere. It's been 10 years since Crystal Palace were in the depths of hell. They've been close in recent times but good old Bruce Willis saved them again from that asteroid. Everton, the Terminator. However much you try to damage the machine, somehow it survives. We thought Judgment Day was on the 28th of May 2023, but a certain T-800 fired in a goal to save humanity. They were once a very successful movie franchise, but the question is, will they be back? For them, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. In the past, some of the machines have been rusty and needed some WD-40. But this season, they seem to have transformed and seeked revenge on everybody who called them a yo-yo team in the past. Although they still do have a Megatron as Prime who just loses his head and gets angry for no reason. Chill out, bro. Liverpool, Star Wars. Massive in the 70s, big time box office in the 80s. And then recently, the Empire seems to have striked back to the good old days. Well, maybe not last season. Because the next movie is called Star Wars, The Return of the Europa League. It looks like Skywalker is going to have to battle Darth Vader to raise funds this summer so he can defeat all of his enemies on the battlefront. Loot in town, Mission Impossible. Jumping through massive hurdles and being the lowest of the low, they somehow managed to get out of it, hiding in plain sight, literally their back garden. And against all odds, they completed their mission. Let's just hope we don't get Mission Impossible 2, the Premier League fallout. Man City, the Avengers. Earth's mightiest footballers come together to play the best football in the world and stop all evil in their way. Wait, so they have to stop themselves. With Thor, Iron Man, Hulk, Hawkeye, and Nick Fury himself, they are an unstoppable machine unless Loki gets hold of them. Man United, Jurassic Park. Steven Spielberg directed Jurassic Park to become one of the biggest movie franchises in history. But when he stopped directing, it just wasn't the same. They've signed a few Velociraptors since and even brought their old legendary dinosaur back. But all in all, it seems like it's still impossible to stop the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Newcastle, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Harry Potter has worked his magic since Voldemort nearly dragged him down to where they don't want to be, the championship. But since since then, they have Wingardium Leviosa themselves up to the higher edges of Hogwarts. They also don't have to worry about Draco Malfoy for a while. He's still excluded from the school. Nottingham Forest, E.T. Absolutely massive in the 80s and this season, E.T. decided not to go home and explore planet Earth for a little bit longer. People still love this film and it will always be a cult classic, but younger fans probably go for something a bit different these days. To be honest, I could have done Nottingham Forest Robin Hood. It was right there. Sheffield United, The Green Mile. It's a movie where one minute you're up and next minute you're down. And in between all of that, we sometimes see some Oscar winning performances. Tottenham Bird Box. There's no direction and no one can really see the vision, literally. They walk around with blindfolds on to protect themselves from entities who will kill them if they look at them. So in this case, the entities are trophies. West Ham Green Street. Well, it speaks for itself, don't it? I literally had no choice but to pick this film for West Ham. It's Green Street. I mean, the film would look a lot different if it was filmed today. They'd have to include a new chance. 
Something about winning a European trophy? Wolves, Max Steel. It's kind of just there, isn't it? It's not exciting, it's not horrible, but it just can't score big at the box office. So I have to give this movie a Rotten Tomato score of zero. Only joking, Wolves fans. You're not that bad.